हेलो नमस्ते हरिहर नायर द एंटरटेनर एंड आई वेलकम यू टू वन मोर लर्निंग नगेट ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल होप यू आर एंजॉइंग ऑल द वेरियस वीडियोस दैट आई एम पुटिंग आउट प्लीज डू वॉच एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल देर आर ओवर 275 वीडियोस फ्रॉम विच यू कैन चूज टू टेक पार्ट इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल लर्निंग जर्नी एंड आई एम वंस अगेन बैक with one more analysis from the T20 World Cup which just concluded some time back and uh, do watch uh, my previous video on this why india lost the semi final to england uh, the link is given in the description uh, yes so finally the tournament is over we have the champions and as i thought that it would be england it happens to be england and why did i think it would be england because they have been fantastic white ball champions for quite a while now and you and, and the resurgence from 2015 when they had an embarrassing exit in the 2015 ODI world cup again in australia from there to the journey that they find themselves in now is a very fascinating one and there are a lot of management lessons we can derive from that uh, because now they are the winners of the 2019 ODI world cup and they are also winners of the 2022 T20 world cup so they are literally dominating the white ball cricket space how are they doing it we have seen through this tournament barring that one scare they had uh, after losing to ireland the way they bounced back but they always looked very convincingly poised to win this world cup of course the heart always says that you want your country to win and india did get close they did get to the semi final but we found out in these last two matches in the way england played that they are such a notch higher than the other teams when it comes to the knockout stages because it's not something that they have achieved in a day they have done it over a period of time and uh, morgan their previous white ball captain has he really set the ball rolling he got the team that he wanted he reinvented the team and today they are white ball champions and you can see that the england team is also bringing the white ball energy into test cricket the way they have started playing test cricket is also really energizing the game as a whole so i would attribute three c's as the qualities for uh because of which england have are so successful in white ball cricket first of all i think they have great clarity they know exactly how to go about their game in both odi as well as t20 they know how to leverage the power play as a batsman and they also know how to stop the opposition batsman from scoring in the power plays you see they they do so well in the first six overs whether they are fielding or they are batting whether they are bowling and fielding or whether they are batting it's, it, it's incredible they have great clarity of how what to do in the middle overs and they have great clarity how to finish so there is a lot of clarity in terms of how they want to go about their business of playing white ball cricket second is they have built tremendous capacity and capability over these last few years and uh, they have stuck with some of the players and uh, they have been uh, able to create some big match players ben stokes he featured in the 2019 world cup as a hero in the final and he has done it again today he has uh, he has again played a crucial knock and uh, uh, and the and, and the third of course is consistency Uh, they have stuck to their plans they have stuck to the team they have backed themselves they have backed their strategies they have prepared hard they have planned really well they have and they have backed the players and uh, they have backed their ability uh, to win uh, in white ball cricket under all conditions so i think overall absolutely brilliant uh from england the way they have gone about reinventing themselves i think that's the greatest management lesson you and me can derive uh from the way england has reinvented itself since the 2015 odi world cup exit and how they have come back as a much stronger team and the team to beat in white ball cricket uh so uh, adversity they converted that adversity into an opportunity and i think uh, india will reflect on the semi final defeat and also on uh the, the, their uh, defeat on the big match days when it really matters uh, in the big tournaments they'll reflect and probably try to draw some inspiration from the way england have reinvented themselves uh and uh, and 
what about pakistan uh, they have been brilliant in this tournament and though they were defending a small score they really made england work very hard to win in the final and they had a poor start to this tournament they capitalized on whatever little luck that that came their way uh, but in the end they were just little short uh, in terms of what was needed to beat a team like england which as i said in the last video in terms of why india lost in the semi final it's difficult to beat teams when they they are so good at raising their game several notches on the day it really matters they have such big match temperament they have such big match players like ben stokes or a sam curran with the ball and one of the great things about this tournament has been how the ball has dominated the bat it's not about scoring 200 runs in a t20 match you score 140 you're still in the game you score 130 you're still in the game and cricket is always very interesting when the ball has an edge over the bat <laughs> yeah so uh, so i hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, little analysis of uh, uh, the t20 world cup final and also why england are white ball champions congratulations to england congratulations to pakistan for having uh, you know put up such a great show unfortunately for them a repeat of 1992 did not happen there are so many patterns which appeared so close to making that happen all over again but i think in the end england just had the better skills uh, than the other teams especially on the day that those skills really mattered to be executed so please to keep watching my videos and i'll be back very soon with one more learning nugget till then take good care of yourself god bless you thank you very much